Hi there, handbaggers, and welcome to the Duck's Nest. This is the military mom coming to you from the operations center. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the outfit that I am wearing. We are going to take a look into God's word, and then we will wrap up with a sub collection that includes a few reveals. But before I get to the outfit, I just have to tell you all that I am craving a holiday party. Not necessarily a formal party, definitely not a casual party, but something right in the middle, informal, maybe outside around a fire pit or inside around a fireplace where everything's decorated and festive and colorful and sparkling and no one is wearing a mask. Am I the only one? I don't know. Am I the only one who wants to go to a party where no one's wearing a mask? <laughs> anyway, let us talk about the outfit that I would wear to just such a party. So this is an outfit that starts with a pair of palazzo pants um, these pants are interwoven with metallic threads of silver and black. And then I have paired it with a simple silver metallic long sleeve t-shirt. And then over that I have a black long duster. And then for the footwear, I have on actually a pair of shoes that might be easier to show you if I take them off my feet. <laughs> a pair of Dior Safe Flats with black leather on the pointed toe and then red suede. These are a pair of shoes that I picked up from J. Jill. And then I finish it off with this jewelry. And again, nothing too formal, but nothing too casual. So let's move on to the word of God and then we'll get to the handbag portion of the video. And I am reading from the New International Version of Scripture, which is the NIV. I'm going to the very last book of the Bible, which is the book of the Revelation. And I'm starting with verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John, who testifies to everything he saw. That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it because the time is near. John, to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. And speaking of power, I am going to link in the description box to a video that contains a song that is a very powerful worship song. So after this video is done, please, if you remember, take a minute, go to the description box, look and listen to that very powerful worship song. All right. The sub collection that I want to share with you all since I'm in this holiday party spirit mood thing is my I was going to call it my metallic sub collection but really 
this is everything in my collection that glitters and sparkles and has bling in it um, along with metallics. So I'm going to start with the silver. And this first piece is just a very simple cosmetic case. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I just want to share it with you all. So there's the first piece, silver um, with the underlying black undertone. This next piece is black and white, cosmetic case also. And I'm moving this around because I don't know how this is picking up on camera, but this piece has very tiny stars, silver stars that sparkle. So I'm hoping that is picking up on camera. And there is the second little piece in my bling collection. The third piece is a piece by Coach. And it is almost what I consider color blocked because the flap here has multicolored glitter and then the body is silver metallic and then it has a non-detachable wrist strap there's the organization some credit card slots and then a slip and I don't there's not a um a zip in here however there is a pocket under the flap that snaps and then the hardware for the logo there and the last piece in the silver metallics is also by Coach. It is my reversible tote. And we're all familiar with these reversible totes. There is the logo in um, pewter hardware. I think that's pewter. And then if I were to reverse it, there's the logo on the silver side. And it does have a hang tag. And I've also added a couple of charms. This is, I think this is Michael Kors. This love, which is also rhinestones. And then the coach horse and carriage. All right. Moving on to the next color. I want to share this piece with you all. This is rose gold. This is also a coach piece. Has a back slip a turn lock opening lined in. This is not oxblood. I think this is burgundy. But it has a chain. So let me show you all really quickly a contrast between these two pieces that look very similar. This is the Bowery piece by Coach. And this is the men's pouch in the horse and carriage motif and you'll see they're the same size the difference however oh wait let me show you um this does have a back slip as well but the difference is this is a pouch that I picked up from the men's department and when you open the turn lock here's the interior there's some very small pockets on the front, a zip. And then when you open the Bowery, you will notice that the Bowery has these two little D-rings that you can attach a chain to. Whereas the men's pouch, which is almost identical, does not. So I just wanted to show you all the difference there between these two pieces, which I love. <laughs> All right, the next piece is a little bronze copper half moon shape cosmetic case that I picked up from, I think I got this from Fossil. And it has a gold zipper with dark, I'm sorry, a gold zipper pull with the dark zipper. I loved the half moon shape and the color on this piece. 
All right. Whatever we have next is in this Coach 1941. Oh, yeah. This is my dinky in the color vermilion. Oh my gosh. And the reason it is in this collection is because if you look at the edge paint, it does glitter. For a full review, check out Nessa's Garden of Treasures. Nessa did a really good review on this piece. This is a beautiful piece. And this, I'm about to show you, is the reason that I bought it. Look at that lining, you all. Is that not gorgeous? That is in the color metallic clay. And it carries through to the pocket, the lining, the kiss lock. Can you all see that? Just a beautiful color on the lining and a beautiful color on the smooth glove tanned exterior of this dinky. And I want to share with you this piece which is really unique because this little bag has a lot going on. It is bronze metallic. It's a Dooney and Burke mini Barlow. Bronze metallic with the ostrich embossing and as we all know the pockets on the Barlow's and the Brenner's and the Flynn's and this very unique trim um, that Dooney gave this bag. So this is my little mini Barlow in the color bronze. This is a fossil piece and it is snakeskin metallic and this this is a great little bag. Let me uh, let me show you all how it looks on. So here she is suspended from my shoulder. And then crossbody. But um can you see how she shines and then she has a turn lock and brass hardware on the turn lock. There's a nice little main compartment for your essentials with the um, zipper in the back. And then she has a back snap. And the fossil key. And a detachable strap. Just a great little piece to carry to a party. She's very lightweight. And she has an adjustable strap. So this is my little fossil, what I call my party bag. And then this piece is a Patricia Nash kiss lock in tartan plaid. Brass hardware. Just um, two credit card slots on the interior there. Lined in the Patricia Nash brushed suede. I don't think it's real suede, but it's just a really soft material that is also very festive for this time of year. And then I have this little piece. This is almost like an iridescent hologram um, little cosmetic case. Light, very light. Uh-oh, it's washing out. Very light interior. No organization, but a nice size for a cosmetic case that would fit in a smaller bag. Um, probably something I picked up from eBay for little to nothing, maybe $3, maybe. All right, the next piece is also in a Coach 1941 dust bag. Let's just see what it is, shall we? Okay, this, handbaggers, is another dinky. This dinky is silver metallic, and all dinkies are part of the 1941 collection. I picked this up from eBay, and it is lined. I don't remember what it's lined in. Oxblood. blood. 
And of course, all the dinkies come with either a chain like this, a chain that is interwoven with leather, but this particular dinky came with a, a strap that matches the bag. And this next piece that I'm going to show you all, I have a story to share. It is also by Coach. And it is, well, I think I've knotted the bag. <laughs> All right. It is a cell phone piece. And to be honest with you all, Coach took a horizontal piece and turned it vertically and made a whole new silhouette. But basically, it's almost the same bag. And these two are almost in the same color. Um, this one did come with the chain strap that I just dropped on the floor somewhere. It did come with this type of chain strap and it snaps on the front and it's lined in oxblood. And I carried this bag on one of my trips to Florida, I think before COVID. Um, and it was, this is really a little, a nice little handy piece to have. And the story that I wanted to share after I show you how it looks with the chain comes from one of my magazines. And it reads, anyone else not carrying a purse lately? And you will see the model has a, what they call a necklace purse. Now, I don't know if this actually qualifies as a necklace purse. It's probably too large, but it has credit card slots on the back. I would never carry my credit cards on the back of my bag, but you know, if if you want to carry a train pass or something like that. And then it also accommodated not only my phone, but um, the cards that were essential. And that's pretty much all I could get. But this little piece carried everything I needed it to carry. I'm going to put it around my neck. I don't think it's meant to be worn like this, but since the article was talking about purse necklaces... Yeah, there you go. I'm not sure. Maybe this is a new trend. I don't know. Something I'd have to get used to. But there are my um, two pieces that are almost the exact same color. And the last piece in this color family, you all, I'm telling you. I think everybody should have a tacky gaudy over the top bag in their collection and this qualifies as mine <laughs> this handbaggers is the michael kors kara k-a-r-a duffel and yeah you can tell she's like at the top of the bling in my collection but i just thought this was the cutest little debossed pattern and I love the fact that it has collapsible rolled handles. I am loving the shape and the size of this bag. And I have nothing like this in my collection. You can see the Michael Kors um, name there. And then it has pyramid rivets. And it has a gold tone zipper. And it does come with a shoulder strap. I'm not sure that I would wear this. Uh... As a shoulder bag though I probably would carry it in the crook of my arm so that everybody everyone could see my gaudy bag my tackiness would be on display <laughs> I just think it's so cute though and then let me give you a look at the interior this bag does not have any exterior organization no exterior pockets this is the interior 
and the shoulder strap is the same color as the trim of the bag and you will see that there is a zip on what is that the back wall and then a nice slip on the front wall and the Michael Kors lining in this bag and I have a few more pieces to show you all one is my coach pouch in green metallic just a very simple pouch that has um, slips on the back wall and that is silver on top of the green metallic and then I have this really pretty sparkly blue piece that is not from any designer that I'm familiar with but I loved the deep blue color of this piece and I think it's lined in black and it has a zip in the interior and that is it as far as organization but I love 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 the size and the dark blue and speaking of dark blue this is a piece that I picked up from eBay and it is my Cassidy shoulder bag and the one thing that I loved about this bag is the color I don't know if it's coming off true because I've got the lights very bright because it's overcast outside but look at that hang tag it is like solid silver and then this strike plate for the turn lock I love that about the Cassidy and then the chain strap which of course can be worn shoulder short shoulder or long shoulder the grommets that are making all that noise <laughs> when you change the length of the strap and then her interior is a beautiful light color thank you coach she has a slip under her flap and then this is her main compartment which has a slip in the back very nice soft material and just to keep things interesting I, uh oh I think I moved the camera I also have this little bag charm it's a Cassidy bag charm and it has the same functionality as um, the Cassidy it has the slip in the back like the Cassidy it has the strike plate and look at that you all it has a little front pocket how cute <laughs> I haven't figured out I've had this piece for a while and I've never figured out which bag to attach it to it looks awkward on all of my coach bags so I might have to go to another designer but this is my Cassidy metallic well this is metallic this is just red leather this is my Cassidy Duo. And I think that that is all. Uh oh, no. Two more pieces. Sorry. My pink glittery Kate Spade cosmetic case. Just lined on the interior with a light lining just a little cosmetic case to pop into a smaller bag and then finally my Michael Kors pouch and you all this is such a great piece um, let me turn the light down so that you can see these are beads of silver and gold and then this is silver like patent leather gold Michael Kors name plate and the bike has gold wheels and then the 
street there glitters. That's I guess that would be the Champs Elysees. And then here's the Eiffel Tower. There's nothing on the back. This is like a nude pink color wristlet. The strap is non-detachable. And then the interior has a slip on the back wall and then credit card slots on the front wall. That's just a beautiful piece. In my metallics bling collection. So, wow, that was a long video. Sorry that it was so long, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping. I'm sorry, I'm getting a message. Thank you for stopping by the Duck's Nest. Please remember to check out the song that I'm going to link in the description box. And as always, happy caring.